Driving from Surrey to Vancouver in rush hour would normally be a chore, but not today. If they can do what they did against San Jose, against this Bruins defense, against Char and Seidenberg, this, this series can be over in a hurry. In the car on the way down to the game one, the Stanley Cup final, I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure all of Vancouver is very excited right now, and hopefully all of Canada except for Alberta is very excited too. There are a few Canucks fans on the Sky Train, not that many, although that quickly changes. Everyone going to the same place for the same reason. And then, just like that, we're in downtown Vancouver, the heart of the city, the corner of Robson and Granville Street. There's a guy dressed all in silver, there are girls selling Mardi Gras beads, and there's not one, not two, but three dogs, and even one beetle, all cheering for the Canucks. The city's going nuts. The uh, players are feeding off that energy. It's going to be good. Are you guys, are we going to win the cup or what? Oh, yeah! 45 minutes till game time and I've entered the Thunderdome by Roger Nielsen. Everyone's wearing blue, everyone's going crazy. But enough of that, it's time to go in. And I've been waiting a long time for this. I don't remember when I first fell in love with hockey, although I'm sure this is pretty close, and I know where I got it from. My dad taught me many things, how to build stuff, how to wash cars, but most importantly, he taught me about hockey. In fact, my first favorite team wasn't my team, but his team, the Winnipeg Jets. Needless to say, it's been a big week for Vancouver and Winnipeg, and with all that's been going on, I can't help but feel like a Stanley Cup is destiny. It's now 5 o'clock and it's game time. And even though they were a number one seed coming in, it's still hard to believe that the Canucks have actually made it this far, the Stanley Cup Final. The atmosphere is electric. Everyone's excited for what they think could be possible. Very quickly, I size up the enemy. Whether they're in the stands, or a young hotshot rookie, or there are new nemesis located right beside me. By now, everyone knows what happened in the dying seconds of game one, and everyone knows that it was wild at Robson and Granville. And destiny or not, you just know that something's gonna happen. <laughs> 